<clears throat> hey guys, they've just finished their warm up, and it is Yannick Sinner versus the final Sissipas in the semi finals of Monte Carlo. Two players who are in some really good form. Sissipas not being the best of form generally this year, but he's really good in Monte Carlo. Beat some top players like Zverev and Hachinov. And of course, we know he loves the clay and loves Monte Carlo as well. Has some great results. He's actually third in the all-time winning percentage list of players. So he's behind Nadal and I want to say Borg. He's third. I think he's got about 83% win record at Monte Carlo, which is really impressive. Yannick Sinner only lost to one match this year, which, which was to... Um, which was to... Uh, Carlos Alcaraz at Indian Wells. So, yeah, that uh, he's been the man, right? The man at the moment right now. Of 2024, trying to see whether he can take that form onto the clay courts. And so far, so good. If you're a Yannick Sinner fan, you're just a fan generally um, of some good tennis because he does put on a show. Sisbass won the toss, by the way, and elected to receive, which is an interesting choice given... You know, he's not maybe the best returner, but on clay, he's got a bit more time. Maybe he's looking to try and put some pressure on Sinner early on here. Uh, let's see as he starts off. Serve into the net to start off from Sinner. Second serve coming up. MJ in the house. Hey, MJ, how you doing? Hozib as well. Uh, Pavel, how you doing? Second serve into the forehand of Sinner. He runs around that backhand. Then an into our forehand for the plus one from Sinner. Drifts wide. Love 15. So, little in road straight away for the Greek player. Of course, he's dropped outside the top 10 as well since the past. So, this clay court swing is quite important for him, in honesty. I have to just get his ranking back up before Roland Garros. Nice. I mean, dying stupid tax season. Yeah, I can imagine, MJ. I can imagine. Joseph, how are you doing? Yo, yo. Second serve into the into out forehand of Sitzbass, ran around that backhand again. Then a slice from Sitzbass, sitting inside the court, goes drop shot. Another unforced error. Should have made the last two errors straight away from Sinner. Unforced errors. An into out forehand would normally make it a drop shot that really didn't need to be executed to perfection. You just need to make it. I don't think Sitzbass would have got it. And. He misses it, goes wide again. So, love 30, a good opportunity early on here for Sissipas. And this is, I want Greek, I want the Greek to prevail, but I think Sinner will. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Serve goes long from Sinner, second serve coming up. So, big opportunity here, Sissipas has a second serve to go love 40 here, which would be massive on the return game. Kick serve into the forehand of Sissipas. Now, forehand in the middle from Sinner, forehand into out from Sissipas. Very short, though. Backhand cross from center. Backhand from Sitz Pass. Clips the neck cord, stays on his side. He would have been <laughs> he would have been urging the neck cord to be favorable there. Just to drop over to the other side and give him three break points with a slice of luck. Wasn't to be. Powell says I'm rooting for Sinner. Let's see how gold he is on clay or how good he is, I think you mean. Yep. Yeah. Hosep, it's a good matchup. I agree. It is. It's definitely a good test for Sinner on clay, no doubt. Steph actually leads the head-to-head, -head, by the way, 5-3. Uh, but the last two matches they played, Sinners won. It wasn't on clay. On clay, Steph leads the head-to-head 3-1 -head on clay. Um, but none of those times they played on clay was after, uh, you know, well, post-puking Sinner, right? Which has been when he's had that incredible run. Hasn't played Steph um, on clay. Played him at the Nitto ATP Finals, beat him in straights. James is busy at work, but dropping in to compliment you on your spring look haircut, Fazan. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it's growing out, so it's nearly there, nearly back. Forehand to forehand here. Massive forehand from Sispass. Finds a great angle. Whips it cross court. Sinner's not going to get that. Goes behind him after they trade. 30 40. And an early break point here for Sispass. His forehand needs to be firing, that's for sure. And it has done so early doors here. Just, I think I can beat Steph in a match or Joseph. I haven't seen you play, but I'd be surprised. That's all I'm going to say. 
Hey, Joe, how you doing? Kick serve into the backhand of Steph. The backhand goes long. Should be making that a lot of time. He was way behind the baseline before that second serve. Had a lot of time. Be disappointed to miss it. You definitely can, says Pavel. No, Pavel. Come on, Pavel. Don't be silly. Joe says, hopefully Steph finishes this off in two. Wow, okay. I got quite a few of you cheering on Sitsipas, and although 72% of you have voted for Sinner to win or think Sinner will win so far on the YouTube poll, uh, as we go forehand to forehand, now down the middle of the court, uh, Sitsipas goes backhand cross, backhand from Sinner, good depth from the Italian. And drags out Sitspass. It's a slice, a very loopy slice from Sitspass. Not a good one. Into and forehand from Sinner is too big. Or Sitspass on the run. And he slaps that forehand into the net. That backhand slice just killed him a little bit. Oh, that floated backhand slice, not great. I'm kidding. I'm just the top ranked. I'm just top ranked for under 14 Australia. Very nice. Very nice. I'm a Sinner fan, but I think Steph will win. Okay. Why do you want Steph to win in straight sets, Joe? Because you think he needs to be fresh if he was to play like a Djokovic final? Kicks it out wide into the backhand of Sinner. Backhand goes wide. So, missed opportunity for Sitsipas there, definitely. On break point, missed the return. And that's a big, big opportunity to have that single break point. Had a second serve on it as well. He's got to make that. But Sinner holds firm in the end, and he does hold, so he'll be happy. Who do you think is going to win later? By the way, later will be David doing Djokovic versus Rude. And I'm interested to see whether Rude can do a bit better than he did last year in the Roland Garros final versus Novak. And we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to see Rude at least take a set of Djokovic. And show us that, you know, he's bridging the gap somewhat. Not maybe expecting him to win, but I'm expecting him to show something. Serve is wide from Sitsipas. Joseph, I'm going to Gatwick in two hours. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, let's kick serve into the backhand of Sinner. Now backhand to backhand. Yeah, very good from Sitsipas. Good angle found. Drags out Sinner on the backhand side. Has to hit a stretch almost in the split. Well, in the splits even. But drags it wide. So 15 love. Serve is long. Sits fast. Tried to go into the body. Second serve. Into the forehand of Sinner who goes down the middle. Then goes into out with the forehand. He's missed it. That forehand of Sinner is just misfiring in these early exchanges. So Sitspas needs to take advantage because this version of Sinner right now is not the version that we've seen this year so far. And I can only imagine he's going to turn it on soon. So Steph needs to make the most of this right now. If I was him, I'd be... Disappointed not to be at least a break up midway through this set if Sinner's level continues at this rate. Oh, double fault from Sitsipas. 30 15. Still not any reason to worry yet, but could become that way if he loses the next point at 30. -0. Second serve here. Steph at 30-15 on his serve. Donning the Wilson blade. As he goes in to win. Beautiful with the plus one forehand. Very good. Kick serve. And just ran around the backhand side. Beautiful in to win forehand. 40-15. Zendaya in the crowd. She, of course, is doing the was it, Challengers movie. She's watching in Monaco. Fair enough. Served on the deep backhand is long from Sinner. Good hold to 15 from Steph. Yep, 
You know, he's got early pick for the French Open. Oh, it's tough. It's really tough, Jose. If you'd asked me about a few weeks ago, I probably would have said. I probably would have said Alcaraz. Because I just think Djokovic will probably win the Olympics, but I don't know if he'll win Roland Garros again. But he'll be there or thereabouts. But Alcaraz with the injury, and I don't know, he's he's looked quite good in spots this year, but Sinner looks like the man. So it's really difficult. I can't really give early prediction because I don't know. I, I need to watch the clay court tournaments and see these players on clay uh, to give you like any sort of prediction, I think. Bro, Kevin Anderson is killing you right now in Australian Open 2024, says Joseph. <laughs> Was that a game? Was that the game? Because he's retired, obviously. Love 15. So that wide is long from Sinner. Love 15 here. Sinner and Sispas both getting some sort of inroads. I mean, Sinner had 15 30s, so, or 30 15, sorry, even on the Sispas serve, which isn't saying a lot. Just won the one point, but. Into in forehand from Sidspass, then goes into out, comes to the net. Oh, what a pass from Sinner. Wow. Into our forehand wasn't bad from Steph, but Sinner read it so well. Prepared that backhand pass beautifully. The preparation was so good. I made it look easy. He darts down the line with that backhand. Steph almost falling over, trying to reach that volley. The backhand down the line pass is executed to a T. 15 all. Got to be careful approaching the net to, to Sinner because you know that can happen. So the pass or the approach even has to be on point. Oh, really good from Steph. So that wide from Sinner. Steph finds a fortunate angle. It's a bit of a miss it on the forehand. Sinner then goes cross court. Bit of a safe option. Surprised he didn't go down the line here. Goes cross court. I think he tried to find the angle to hit the winner. Instead, Steph reads it, stays in that forehand corner and just pushes it down the line. Just redirects it. Good depth. Very good anticipation. 15-30. He's pushing here. Serve into the forehand. Obviously, this pass is long. So, second serve coming up. Good start from the Greek. He's looking the stronger of the two so far. Second serve into the forehand of Sitspas. Goes into out. Backhand cross from Sinner. Forehand into it from Steph. Forehand cross from Sinner. Forehand to forehand now. Down the line goes Sinner with the forehand. Backhand cross from Steph is short. Backhand on the line from Sinner. Great forehand from Steph. Cross court. And the forehand from Sinner goes long. There's a lot of shorter balls from Steph that Sinner's getting. And normally, if it was a hard court or a quicker surface, Sinner would be putting those away. Instead, I mean, he's being a little bit safe, I have to say, anyway, on those shots. But I have to say, because of the slowness of the surface, Sitspass is able to defend a lot better. And he can flip the switch with the forehand from defense to attack quite quickly. And Powell says, yeah, that's fair. But Alcaraz. 15-42 break points here for Steph. Good third on the tee. And the backhand return finds the net. This is where Steph needs to be very solid now and has to at least make the returns. One break point saved and Sinner save another. Hosep says men's tennis is at an intriguing stage with Novak and Rafa nearly at the end of their careers. Agreed. Agreed. And it's not going to be one or two players taking up the mantle, I don't think. I imagine it's going to be an array of players who win slams in the next few years. And you know, we're talking about oh, Alcaraz or Sinner, but who knows? It could be a Runa. It could be a... I, don't know, I mean, who else? It could, it could be... Oh, double fault from Sinner to gift. To absolutely gift the break to Stefan or Sisterbass. Sinner not looking himself right now. I have to say. 2-1 Sisterbass. I said he'd want the break. At some point in this set, if Sinner's level continued at its current level, and it has done so, and Steph has taken advantage of a gift, of course, at 30-40. But he got to 40-15 on the return game, Steph. So 
did well to get to that stage. Novak has another 15 years in him, says Joseph. Oh, he definitely doesn't. <laughs> as an incredible athlete as Novak is, and arguably could be one, one of, if not the best athlete of all time, honestly, that's kind of how good he is and how incredible his achievements have been. I just think I wouldn't be surprised if he only plays till the end of next year. He might play longer, but I think if the other guys start winning slams, and if there's, I think as soon as there's a year that he doesn't win a slam, I think the year after he'll retire. That's kind of how I see it. That's how I see it. Unless, obviously, the year after he then wins like the Australian Open, for example, the first slam. But I just feel like if there's a year and a half that goes by and he hasn't won any slams and he hasn't got close, I don't think he will be carrying on. He doesn't seem the type of player to want to play just for the sake of it um, if he's not winning. And I think the same holds true for Rafa, which is why he's retiring. So I think he knows when he's on his last leg. And but Novak is different. Um, he's, he's extremely fit, but the other guys are catching up. And he age is undefeated. It, it does catch up to you eventually. And I feel like it's been a lot slower with Novak, but it, it is happening still. Yeah, in real estate, he's the win slam. Sinner, I guess, Alcaraz, Alas, maybe Zverev. Medvedev's already won one. He could win some more. Uh, who else? I mean, Corda should be up there, but he's not really doing enough. Rude has made three Grand Slam finals. Rublev win one. Is he consistent enough over two weeks? Maybe not. Uh, you know, there's lots of people um, that could be thrown into the mix. Second serve from Steph into the forehand of Sinner, who goes down the middle with the forehand. Backhand to backhand. Sinner goes into it with the forehand now. Backhand cross from Steph. Into a forehand from Sinner. Backhand on the middle from Steph. Forehand on the line from Sinner. Slice from Steph. Short, though. Drop shot from Sinner. He's missed it. Whatever Sinner's trying right now just doesn't seem to be working. I think that's three missed drop shots so far today. And that's been a shot that he's adapted, or he's adopted, sorry, even, at this tournament. I was, I was watching during this tournament to see, okay, I don't see it much from him normally on other surfaces, but I think on clay, right, you need to utilize it because when you're pushing players back, it, you need to have that option. Uh, and he's actually utilized it quite well from what I've seen in the other matches, but it doesn't look super natural, is all I'll say. Uh, like it does, per se, an Alcaraz or even a Djokovic nowadays as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think showing that it, it, it's not as solid as other parts of his game as he misses a full hand return long, 30 love sits pass. Joe says, I'm really surprised Steph is doing well this week, considering that one-handed backhand players can get easy to expose at Monte Carlo. I actually think it's the opposite, Joe, because on the clay at Monte Carlo, it's so um, it's so slow that actually you have a lot more time. So I think one-handed, like Mossetti, for example, has a really good time at Monte Carlo. Another double fault from Sitspass, by the way. A 30-15 Steph. Uh, very exactly the same as the previous game, where he was thirty love up and double faulted for thirty fifteen. But yeah, not not surprising. One handers generally on clay as well. They tend to then come to the fore. And I'm worried about Medi. He's looking worse and worse after each tournament. I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, he'll be there or thereabouts. Um, you know, he won Rome last year. I, I don't see him, you know, going out first round in Madrid or Rome. I think he'll be fine. I just think it's obviously not his favorite surface, but he'll be fine. Will he win Roland Garros? Probably not. But yeah. Force 15 and a chance to consolidate the break. Steph has won the last 10 out of 14 points. Forehand to forehand now. Down the line goes Steph for the forehand. Then goes backhand on the line. He's kept the line. Great recovery from Sinner on the forehand cross. Great depth. Then goes forehand down the middle. He's absolutely smashed that forehand a lot on it. And Steph just stands and redirects it with the backhand cross. Beautifully done. Sinner's throwing the kitchen sink at him, but he's not doing enough with angles. And poor 
with direction and Steph is not necessarily hitting the ball as hard as Sinner. Probably not hitting it harder than him at all. But he's using angles, higher top spin, and he's being smarter, which is you know something interesting to say because Sinner generally is normally quite smart. He's almost playing at the moment, Sinner, like it's a hard court. He's hitting very hard uh, through the middle at times. Needs to just relax on the forehand and backhand side. Give himself a bit more coverage over the net, a bit more top spin. Give himself a chance to find angles to drag Sitspass out. And that's a good start from Sinner. Serve out wide and the forehand goes long. Paul says he gets more time on his backhand, yep. What I noticed this week is if you kick serve to the backhand, it kicks up really high. Maybe that's why Steph is so far. Yeah, so if you if you hit a kick serve generally on clay, it kicks up a lot higher because clay as a surface, uh, the ball bounces more. Uh, it's a lot more conducive to top spin as well, which a kick serve is. It's, it's, it's a top spin serve. So, yeah, it, it pops up a lot more than a hard court or a grass court. And it's also a lot slower. So, um, it has the ball has more time to just kind of impact on the surface. Great volley from Sinner here. Smash put away. Very good from the Italian. So, yeah, you'll see your players adopt a more deep return position, generally speaking. Uh, not everyone, but most players will. Uh, you'll see Novak do it at times. Uh, you know, Rafa does it, of course. Rude, uh, Medvedev, Steph. Zverev already stands far back, but he will do so on clay as well because the serve isn't coming as quick, but it's bouncing high. So the contact point, you know, you, you want it to be between waist and shoulder height. And it's not going to be that if you're too far forward, it'll be at shoulder or above shoulder height. That's awkward for most players. Uh, good serve from Sina down the tee from the juice side. Back on return from Sits Pass drags wide 40 love. Joe says, I'm no expert though. You know what, Joe? You should watch. I'll put in the chat my topical videos on why different court surfaces have an impact on the results of matches. And I give two examples, her catch and Schwartzman as well. A good, very good from Sinner. Serve out wide, then forehand cross court into the open court. So he does hold. We see the breakdown, 4-2. Hey, 4-2. Okay. Then there, uh, yeah, just uh, fatting herself, waving to the camera. Huh. Loving it. He's loving it. Guys, do hit that like button, please, if you haven't done this already. And do subscribe if you are new. I was going to look at something. What was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to send you the link for the video. Let me send it, Joe, so you can uh, maybe save it to your watch later. It's a short video. It's only five, six minutes, I think. Topical one, though. It's got good, like, graphical visuals. Uh, I'm quite proud of our topical videos. We've only got, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight of them, uh, and we will have more, but um, they take a lot more time to put together. And then also we need, we have a graphic designer who does the editing for them because they're a bit more high production money. To be fair, it was a long time long time coming this video as well i'd been asked about doing it a while ago and i didn't do it because i wanted to wait until i could do a, a really good video with actual visuals rather than just talking about it bias the rolling garage types says joseph <laughs> no way jose uh backhand down the middle from cinder then goes back and cross death approaching the net and he doesn't even attempt to volley just 
<laughs> I mean, he just watches the ball fly past him. Let's have a look. Should he have tried to go for it? No. Because there's nowhere near him. He approaches a nap. Transition is a bit slow. And Sinner makes him pay. Great pass cross court. Great angle. Nagar for Rungar's title. Lol. Very good. Very good. Kick serve into the forehand of Sinner. Forehand return finds the net. Definitely not playing anywhere near the level we've seen from the Italian this year. The level is not the same right now. It might be a case of this first set. Maybe he needs to settle down. I can't see him playing two straight sets like this. Back on the line from Steph. Forehand is missed from Sinner to try and pass him. Running a cross court again. He would have more chance of winning the men's Roland Garros and Bayers and Nagel. Oh, the controversial take. I don't know. Maybe. I surely I don't know. Wow. Forehand quality for Sisbass 9.7 right now. Really? It looks good, but it doesn't look 9.7 good. Now 10. Forty fifteen. I did say the forehand would be important for Stefan. Clearly, can you listen? The serve out wide, forehand internet from Sinner. He's serving really well, Steph, at the moment. His forehand's firing the backhand. There haven't been many shanks to pull, if any. He's been good. Four two. Grace is only joking. <laughs> mm, indeed. Right, see that like button and do subscribe if you are new. We appreciate each and every one of you. Also, if you want to support us further, you can do so by becoming a member. You get some cool perks, early access to things as well. Uh, check that out. Right, serve so cross court from Steph, then a drop. Oh, gets a very short ball center. And instead of going drop shot, just dinks it down the line with a slice. Very good touch, 15 love. Well, defensive slice from Steph very short. Cinema makes him pay. Pavel says, Rafa with an abbreviated service motion during practice in Barcelona. Yeah, it's because of his abdominal. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea if we're going to see him back again on court. Hope we do. Hope we see him play Ron Garros, but yeah, signs don't look great, if I'm being honest. Kick serve into the backhand of Steph. Good depth across court. Again, Senna tries to go into out the forehand, and again, he misses it. He's missed that forehand a lot. That into out forehand. It's a pretty easy forehand normally for him, but hasn't been able to do much today with it. Five unforced errors on the forehand so far from Senna. None from Sitspass. That's very impressive. No wonder he's at 9.7. Miles says, hi, bizarre. Let's go, Sitspass and Rude. Fair enough. Yeah, later on, Djokovic Rude will be David. Kick serve into the backhand of Steph. Backhand down the middle is good. Good depth. Massive forehand on the line from Sinner. Then goes forehand on the line again. Steph defending well on the backhand wing. Backhand to backhand now. Steph goes down the line into the net. 30 15. Uh, Pavel says he won a practice set 6 1 versus Rublev and was satisfied with how he was serving. Practice sets don't mean much, I do then. Rublev hasn't been playing well, so I don't know how much I can read into that, to be honest. But let's see. Let's see. Right? I mean, hopefully he plays Barcelona. We'll get a better idea of like what's been going on and everything. But yeah, for now, I'm going to keep myself very subdued on the topic, I think. Great serve down the T from Sinner clips the line from the ad side. That's on the forehand return. Can only find the net. 40 15. Start on the T. And backhand into end from Sisfas on return. Backhand down the middle from Sinner. Forehand to forehand here. Forehand cross, great angle from Sinner. What a forehand from Steph, though, down the line. Great get from Sinner. How do you make that? 
Oh, he's missed the pass cross. Court. What a point. Wow. Unbelievable. Ridiculous point. I mean, it looked like the point was over after Sinner dragged a forehand cross court. And Sispas on the stretch, but found a ridiculous forehand down the line again on the stretch. And Sinner somehow got to that. Managed to defend that, but he gets a short ball. Sispas attacks it. Forehand from Sinner dragged wide. 40-30. Kicks her out wide into the backhand of Steph. Forehand into him from Sinner. Forehand goes long from Sispas. Crowd collapsed. So it is a 4 3. This is, I think, I went beyond the speed limit. Oh, good. Have you doing a ticket? Come on, Stefanos. Yeah, he means doing well. He's doing well, Lexi. Your boy's doing well so far. It's doing well. Hello, Fazan. Fazan's fans. Yep, that's true. Hello to my fans. Fazan looking good, Lex says Lexi. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Still going to pick up the level is the real question. Steph's level has been high. Uh, and according to the stats, no one for Sarah so far, which is incredible after seven games, considering how many forehands he's been hitting as well. Next is, I thought the match was starting now. No, so, well, Djokovic Rude was due to start in about an hour. Lexi says, you look like Benzema, my friend. Oh, I think that's a That's definitely not a compliment, Lexi. <laughs> Benzema is not the, uh, as much as I love him as a football player, he's not the best. I've actually had, so since I had a haircut, my head, by the way, is actually shaved, by the way, if anyone doesn't know. So completely shaved. It's growing back at the moment. And then eventually I'll be back to my normal length, which not probably not all of you know, if you're new to the channel, that is. But uh, I got likened to Alvaro Alcaraz. I think it's Alvaro Alcaraz, because Alvaro Alcaraz is Alcaraz's older brother. And I looked at his Instagram. I can kind of see it, but not that much. Um, and now I've got Benzema. So it's just some Spanish guy and Alcaraz. Uh, Alcaraz's brother, that is. And Benzema is French, but obviously Algerian originally. Next is I find Benzema hot to be honest, fair enough. <laughs> I haven't come across anyone that thinks that. He's a nice guy. But like, seems like a nice guy. Great player. Definitely has... Uh, he's definitely clean cut, isn't he? Benzo dresses well. The into our forehand from Steph. Then goes into win. Back on the stretch. Sorry, forehand on the stretch from Sinner. Backhand to backhand now. Sinner goes big cross court. Steph sticking with him nicely in the backhand to backhand. He wouldn't have expected this. But it's Clay. He's got more time. And he turns it on with a prime Federer. Backhand down the line. Oh, my word. What an absolute arrow of a backhand. Great winner down the line from the Greek. Sinner just lacking a bit of depth. That's been the issue. Honestly, pinning a bit too flat, not enough depth. Just giving Steph time to step in and just latch onto it on the front foot. I think maybe Sinner needs to take a little bit off, but more. High top spin and depth. Serve into the backhand of Sinner. Backhand goes long. Dirty love. <laughs> Go, lol. Are we seeing a three setter for this match? Let's go three. Woot woo. Maybe. I'm hoping we do. Well, I mean, even if it's two really competitive sets, uh, that'll do as well. Kick serve into the forehand of Sinner. goes deep down the middle of the forehand. Rushes, sits past. Look at the difference, right? Look at the difference. The depth down the middle by sitting on that return. Rush, sits past. 
He hasn't been rushed much today. Sinner's been hitting the ball extremely keen at times, very hard at times as well, but the depth hasn't quite been there. Okay, boss. I'm sure Fazan's wife was cool. She's very cool, yeah? Oh, well, also in a draw ceremony with Rafa already happened. I didn't realize, I didn't realize either. Great ace down the tee from Sitsa Pass, 4 15. Beautifully done from the ant side. So, down the tee into the backhand of Sinner. Then goes forehand into out, but finds the net. So, a hold for Stefano Sitsipas. Sinner not able to open up a single break point so far in this set. 5-3. Steph is one game away from this first set. Has Steph dropped a set at Monte Carlo this week? I want to say no. Let's have a quick look. Why don't we have a quick look? So, Steph... He hasn't, no. He hasn't. He has not. Oh, first little shank from Sitzbass on the backhand on return. 15, love. No, he hasn't. He has not. I wanted three sets because this is the first time, well, first time, sorry, even I'll be watching Stefanos' Lexi. Mm. Well, uh... I would think we would, but let's see. Great into and forehand from Sinner on the plus one shot. Steph doing well to stick in there, but eventually gets dragged out too far. Tries to go ambitiously down the line with the forehand. Goes long, 30 love. Guys, do hit that like button if you haven't done so already, and do subscribe if you're new. We are doing Djokovic Rude later on as well. We'll be doing the final... Uh, tomorrow as well, of course. Uh, 25 likes, but over 100 of you in the chat. Let's get to 50 likes ASAP, if you don't mind. Read us, helps out. Algorithm, all that. Algorithm helps us grow by liking and subscribing. So appreciate each and every one of you. Great forehand, another line from Sitsipas on the return. Beautiful. The forehand is popping right now. Ran around the backhand. Found that forehand return. Beautifully struck down the line. Sinner goes backhand cross. This pass goes into on the forehand. And Sinner is an absolute sitting duck. Doesn't even move. The forehand rockets past him. 16 baseline points, one for Sitz Pass, only 10 for Sinner. So at the moment, Sitz Pass is winning the baseline battle, which you wouldn't normally expect, right? Okay. Your wish is Steph's command. Yeah. Yes, Joe. But if it's two, I hope. It's Stefano's winning at the end. Um, I don't think I'll be watching the final tomorrow. No problem. What have you got planned, Joey? Busy man. Forehand down the line from Sinner. Slice from Sitspass. Back down the line from Sinner. Forehand cross from Sitspass. Forehand. Oh, my word. That is an absolute rocket of a forehand down the line from Sinner. I mean, if you don't want to use angles, you just hit your forehand like that. That'll do the job. That's the kind of pace, though, that you have to exert if you want to avoid the ball coming back, though, on clay. And that must have been over 100 mile per hour forehand. That was absolutely huge. I'm in Alicante tomorrow. Very nice. That's where my, um, my stag do was before I got married. It's nice. Nice place. The few mates. It sorted out for me. It's good. Oh, quite quite a long time ago now, six years ago. Forward to forehand. Cross court goes. It's pass back and back and now drop shot from Sid's pass. Sid should get there. He does. Oh, beautiful touch. Thinks it cross court. Beautifully done from Yannick Sinner. So he will force. This has to serve for the set. Let's see if Sinner can add an additional twist to this set. Oh, Alicante's in Spain. The weather should be pretty good, actually. For you, Joe, yeah. It won't be 30 degrees, I imagine, but it should be like early 
and injuries, maybe. If you're going to Spain, Joe, you need to go and try and get tickets for the Madrid Masters, mate, or Barcelona. If you're going to be there, maybe try and go see Bas. Let me try go to Barcelona. Why not? I know it's uh, quite far, I would imagine, from Alicante, but maybe do a one day uh, at the Barcelona tournament. Yeah, very jealous, Joe. Very jealous. Should be good. Maybe Madrid on the 22nd, yeah. That's a good shout. Yeah, why not? Go for it, man. Honestly. A monastery. Lol. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, so this first will start for the set here. A 5 4. Been a very impressive showing so far from the Greek. Can he close it out? Serve out wide, forehand, cross from Sinner. Forehand's forehand now. Forehand in the middle from Sinner. Then goes forehand into out. Backhand cross from Steph. Backhand cross from Sinner. Forehand into him from Steph. Forehand in the line from Sinner's gone wide. Interesting. Very interesting. 15 love. Sits a pass. Just not quite hitting his spots. His center just doesn't quite have the accuracy you'd expect. Or forehand. Oh, great serve to the team from Sits pass from the outside. Sinner on the stretch. On the forehand, can't make it. 30 love. Beautiful. Oh, massive from Steph on the running forehand, then goes slice. Slice from Sinner, backhand cross from Sispas. That's just in from Sinner, cross court on the backhand side. On the sliding forehand slice goes Steph, cross court. Now backhand to backhand. Steph on the front foot now. Great angles. Then goes forehand behind. Dinner, he's missed it just. Oh, whoa, no. What a miss. What a miss. Oh, my word. I was not expecting that. Not expecting that at all. Would Sinner be excused if he loses today? No, why? <laughs> why would he be excused? The time zone sucks for me. Guess where I'm from? India? Actually, Niha, you're not in India, are you? They serve out wide into the backhand of Sinner. Backhand goes long. 40, 15. Are you not your... Are you in Australia? No. Anyway. Backhand goes long. Two set points. But Stefano sits a pass. What's been a very impressive showing so far. I've only visited four in Spain. Barcelona, Madrid, Sevilla and Granada. Ooh. Kick serve into the backhand of Sinna. Backhand down the middle from the Italian. Forehand on the line. It's not enough depth and angles being found from Sinna. He gets away with it this time. Steph with a really good backhand cross. Drags out Sinner. Sinner goes cross court. Backhand on the line from, Sit from Sitspass. Finds the net. Sinner is thinking too much. He's not thinking laterally enough, Sinner. Not enough top spin. And I've seen him do it. I, I, I've seen him this week use angles more uh, and not just hit flat, hard ground strokes down the line or down the middle. So he knows that if he doesn't hit with great depth, it's not going to be super effective. Great depth with the into-out forehand from Steph. He's got another set point here. Forehand to forehand. 
Down the line goes Sinner. Then goes backhand cross. Backhand to backhand now. Backhand the line from Sispas is massive. Forehand slice from Sinner's defensive. Oh! Sispas drags out Sinner with a great forehand. Sinner on the stretch goes wide. Steph takes the set 6 4. That has been the difference. We've seen Sinner being dragged out a lot more than Sispas. Sispas has just been finding those beautiful angles cross court. Sinner's been going line quite early without actually putting in the work cross court with the angles and being patient with topspin. I just, yeah, he's not playing a clay court type game at the moment, is Sinner. Seven winners to seven unforced errors for Sispas, seven winners to nine unforced errors for Sinner in that set. Australia, mate. Oh, you're in Australia, of course. Yeah, I remember. Lexi says, yeah, so I visited Sevilla, like you. I, I visited Valencia and Alicante. And actually, one more place. Oh, that's it. No, no. No, not Sevilla, sorry. Valencia, Malaga, and Alicante. Yeah. Sit C, says Ivano. Yep, he's doing well. Niha says, yeah, Straya, mate. Straya. Then he dare lose his set. Well, he did and he took it. Now, the question is going to be, how does Yannick Sinner bounce back in the second set? Because he needs to find a higher level than he did in that first set. Wasn't a terrible level, but not good enough if Steph is going to play the way he has been so far in this match. Needs to raise it. And that's definitely not his peak level. The game plan as well has been a bit all over the place. He's been trying to go to the backhand a lot of stuff, which is fine. But you still have to be selective about when you go there. Because he has a lot more time on the clay. And if you're just going to go cross court, flat cross court with not a lot of depth, it doesn't matter how hard you're hitting it. Unless you're hitting it 100 mile per hour plus, this pass is going to have a clean strike on that backhand side. And he'll probably find the angle first. That drags you out. Nia says, round one, Boston, Nadal versus Cavoli. Okay. I know Monte Carlo is probably Steph Hardest, his favorite tourney, but I thought Stinner is a better player than him. I'll show you an open time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Stinner's been the best player of 2024 so far. So, But Clay is a different ball game, and, and Steph is, you know, has and knows how to play on Clay. It's his best surface. I think undoubtedly, and he knows what game plan to utilize to get the most out of the surface. Sin is not doing that right now. Sin is just playing almost how he would normally play on a on a hard court. And, and that's not to say he completely changes his game plan, but he needs to have some tactics in place to accommodate the, the fact that he's playing on a slower clay court surface. So he goes down the tee, then forehand on the line from Sinner. And the backhand Lob from six pass goes long. I'd rather the final space cast in the final if he wins this because against Novak, wow, it's yes, true. Yeah, I mean, six pass against Novak is not a good matchup for the Greek player whatsoever. Serve is long from Sinner. Second serve coming up. Serving to the inter forehand of Sissipas. Then goes forehand to forehand here. Forehand on the line from Sinner's good. Then goes backhand cross. Forehand into up from Sissipas. Backhand into net from Sinner. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Just struggling here, Sinner. To gain control in a lot of the rallies. This pass is bossing them. Bossing the baseline battle right now. Second surface. Sinner at 15 all at the start of this second set. Forehand cross from Steph. Forehand on the line from Sinner. Backhand to backhand now. Backhand in the middle from Steph. Forehand cross from Sinner. 
Then goes forehand crossed again. Forehand to forehand. Forehand goes long from Sispasis. Definitely a an unforced error. 30-15. Oh, backhand is a shank from Sitsipas off the second serve. Was 15. Or we'll serve. Beautiful serve out wise and ace. Much, much better. So, one love. Much, much better. So far, anyway. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, what? Well, I'd miss some stuff. Second step. Back and in swing is miss from center. It's in love. So that wide. Oh, great depth from Sinner on the backhand. Backhand in the middle from Sispas. Forehand into win from Sinner. Forehand to forehand now. Forehand on the line from Sinner's big. Then goes forehand into win. On the stretch from Sispas goes long. So, 15 all. Interesting. Fifteen all. Third on the tee. Prompts his pass. Steps in. Backhand goes long. That's a bad miss. Bad miss from Sispas on the backhand. Did everything right. The serve was big. Not the short return he would have wanted. Didn't put it away. Didn't put it away. If if Casper wins against Novak, Casper wins once call it that straightforward. Hmm. One to forehand. Not sure about that, Niha. Forehand on the line from Sinner's massive. Great forehand battle cross court. Opens up. Sinner doesn't actually go that accurately down the line, but it's the it's the depth from Sinner that does the damage, almost clips the baseline. It's it with a lot of top spin as well. Beautifully done. Uh, Alexis, oh, I don't mind Castle winning Monte Carlo. I'll root for him if it's against the Carlos homeboy Trump's heart. Oh, hey, there we go. I think Steph has more chance than Casper, unfortunately, Lexi, but I'm wrong most of the time. <laughs> mm. So about wide. Great forehand on the stretch from Sinner, then goes backhand to backhand. All comes forward. Thinks that down the line, Sinner smash. Straight at Sinner. Sorry, straight at Sister Pass, even. He takes a break, a bit of a cheeky smash. Uh, there's an apology. I don't think he meant to hit him. It did bounce before that. Right. He's got the early break. Steph talking to his box, trying to get some tips. Do love. Uh, talking to him. 
Nia says, Sinner loses this one. He's not guaranteed number one, even at the end of the grass ball season, assuming Nole does what he does usually. Sinner would wait longer. Mm. Lexi says, what's your prediction later, Fazan? Do you think Casper can beat Novak? He can. He has to play really well, though. Well, that's for sure. Um, but, but, you know, Novak at the moment, I don't think he's playing his top, top, top level. But, uh, yeah, I think it's hard to back against Novak. Who has the most Masters wins? Novak, yeah. 40 to 36, yeah. Pretty sure he does, yeah. One on the line from... Is it 40 to 36, though? That's closer than that. I could be wrong. Drop shot from Sispas. Sinner should get there. Oh, he does. Go, you dink into the net. Beautifully executed drop shot from Sispas. He's started off this service game well. Just put that behind him, what happened in the previous game. Joe... Oh, love 15, sorry, even. Joe, do you think so? I know Casper's Monte Carlo stats, but for me, this is the Forest's court. Mm. So I don't see from Sinner into the net. Kick serve into the backhand. Point into is massive from Sinner. What a hit from Yannick Sinner. 15 all. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. And Novak is the only man to win all the Masters at least once. And he did it twice. If he wins Monte Carlo, he would have won it. He will have won all. Three times. Incredible, right? Incredible. Serve out wide. Forehand goes wide from Steph. 30 15. Sinner says comeback starts now. Wow, it's definitely a good definitely a good start from Sinner in the second set. So yes, it could be. Pavel says Falls a sinner says, hmm. Falls a sinner. Hmm. Kick serve into the backhand of Steph. Then goes forehand into out. And he's starting to hit that forehand much better this set, sinner, compared to the previous one. Especially that into out forehand in the previous set. Probably would have missed it. This time he's made it. Not a single winner for Sitzbass in the set so far. Already four for sinner. 40 15. Two game points to consolidate that break. Backhand down the middle from Steph. Forehand to forehand. Steps in. Steph goes drop shot into the net, though. So three love. He does consolidate the break. It's been good. Good so far, anyway. From Yannick Sinner. He will be happy. Okay. All right. Next is Pavlov accepted that Novak's stats is better than Rafa. I don't mind it, but Novak has yet to win Olympic gold, and it's the only thing missing. And Novak knows it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins it this year. Even, and look, I mean, even if it's missing at the end of his career, he's still, you know, is the GOAT. I think I'm a Rafa fan. I can admit it. Let's just be honest. Um, but, yeah, I, I think he'll be disappointed if he doesn't win the Olympics. I, I know he holds it in really high regard. If Steph loses this match, I'd have a meltdown. <laughs> so, goes to France to win this, believe me. Also, that's why the Olympics this year will be so interesting and so important for Novak and his, and his last chance. 
But he was talking about playing Los Angeles 2028. So I don't know if it's the last chance. I'd imagine it is too, but he seems to have other ideas. So I guess we'll see. That wide is an ace from Sinsa or they're going to have a look at it. Or Sinner wants to have a look at it. Looks like it wasn't, so an ace to start off. Great spot serving from Sinsa Pass. Oh, back end, back end. Massive back end cross from Sister. That's good depth. Forehand to forehand. Forehand on the line from Spinner. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Alrighty. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Stuck and stuff. Here we go. Great serve down the T. From since I fought to love. Two aces in this game so far. Forty love. Great serve on the T from Seth again. Forehand, great depth from Sinner. And it gets the backhand error from Steph that he's looking for. He finds the net, does Steph? 40 15. I pray that no one wins it like what Messi did in the World Cup. No fans will go crazy. Yeah, I'm sure they would. Looks like I won't be seeing the end of this match. Uh, it's all right. It's all good. Forehand on the line from Steph. You can catch up on it, Joe. Don't worry. Into our forehand from Steph and the backhand from Sinner goes long. So a hold from Sitsipas. 3 1. Gets on the board in the second set, always important. He is, of course, a breakdown, but it's just a single break. Just a single break. All righty. Serve. Oh, oy. into the backhand. And sits past. This pass goes along with the backhand. He started to misfire a little bit. His staff, especially on the back, and the backhand was pretty damn solid in the first set. Very solid. Now, it's looking a little bit tight. A few shanks here and there. It's not being great. Backhand cross from Steph. Great depth. Soaks it up, Sinner, but not enough. Sets up nicely for Sispas. Forehand crunches it. Cross call for a winner. So, 15 all. Forehand to forehand now. Massive into it. Forehand from Sinner. He's missed it. What's going on, Sinner? Definitely not been his best performance. Well, that's for sure. But 
if he takes the set, he finds himself in a one set shootout with Sissipas, who's been playing some damn good tennis today, so he won't mind it. Backhand cross from Steph, forehand into out from Steph, backhand cross from Sinner, forehand into out, short into the backhand of Sinner, who's in no man's land at the moment. Slice from Sitzbass. Now, drop shot from Sinner is too good. Got away with that, though, I have to say, Sinner. Got away with that big time. It could have easily been 15 40. Steph doesn't make him pay, though. And in the end, he does very well and uh, closes it out clinically with a great drop shot. Right, so third to you, a big, big point coming up. Sad so Matip back and he's a shank from Sispas. Seen that more and more in this set, as I mentioned earlier. It's an issue. It is an issue. Serve into the backhand of Steph. Forehand into in from Sinner. Then goes into out. Goes into in again. Steph on the stretch. Oh, can you go long? So he does hold. He does consolidate again. Yes, again. So 4 1. Looking good. One, four. This pass definitely up against in the second step, but he does have the cushion of that first set, of course. Music they're playing, very interesting. Like jazz, a changeover. Very different to other tournaments. More complaining, but yeah. All right. The question is, can Steph find something in this set? Or is it going to be a question of us gearing up for a decider, which would be very, very likely, I would imagine. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Still some time to go yet in this set. All right, okay. Well, a few of you in the chat as well, so thanks for tuning in. Do hit that like button, do subscribe if you're new as well. Appreciate each and every one of you getting involved. If you want to become a member, support us even further, contribute to the channel, get some perks, early access to videos, hit the join button. And you can get cool emojis like how, what Joe has. Dios mio, Stefanos, lo. OMG, Raffle playing the Olympics, right? Depends if he's fit. If he's fit, I think he will, yeah. Raffle Nadal returns to Barcelona and his outfit has also been released as Tanmay. Tanmay! With the inside gossip. Oh, I love it. Well, inside track, even. Yeah, I know he returned to Barcelona playing Caboli, I think, isn't it? Question is if he can play Barcelona first. He's due to play Barcelona. Let's see if he does. Rafa's outfit is purple and orange. Classic. Classic Rafa outfit, isn't it? And Dea is watching, says Lexi. She is. And uh, backhand down the middle from Sinner. Now backhand to backhand. Sis pass goes into on the forehand. Oh, slice from Sinner finds the nap. 15, love. You're supposed to play in Australia, Doha, Indian Wars, and Monte Carlo. True. I know it maybe pulls out Barcelona too. Oh, no. Let's hope he doesn't, but who knows. Guys, there's over 140 of you watching on YouTube. Only 31 likes. I mean, come on, guys. That's criminal. If you are watching, do hit that like button. It's a big thumbs up button. Doesn't cost you anything. Helps us out with the algorithm. Let's get to 50 likes as soon as possible, please. 
and do subscribe if you're new. Again, helps with our growth, helps with the algorithm. I just please get notified. And also, if you don't have notifications on, why don't you hit the bell button? Make sure YouTube, YouTube notifications are on as well. Otherwise, you won't get notified when we go live or have new uploads. That's a return winner, by the way, from Sin off the second sub. Beautiful into and forehand return. And it's 15 all. Oh. Second seven to the backhand. Backhand to backhand here. Into in four into out forehand from Sitsipas. Backhand cross from Sitsipas. Backhand to backhand. Four and into in from Sin is big. Has Sitsipas on the stretch. Oh, drop shot on the backhand slice. Into the net from Sinner. 30 15 Sitsipas. If Seth breaks back in the set, I'll sub a member. Oh, look at that. Pavel says, I hope not. Tame says, want to see him at least on clay. Yeah, agreed. Look, I mean, Tame, before he retires, we have to see him on at least clay, right? That's exactly what we want. Um, I think unless you're like an adult hater, you want to see that. So let's see. Hopefully we see him. Hopefully we see him not just playing on clay, but playing at a decent level so he's competitive. Oh, hello. Love from Sin on the defensive. Managed to clip the baseline. We're backhand to backhand now. Backhand is made. What an angle from Sinner. He's clipped the tram line. It is 30 all. <laughs> I'm sorry. My, the reason I'm looking to my right is my son's walked in and he's just like so astounded. Like, what's happening? I'm speaking so rapidly. Can you and Cam Williams do a live together, a match as Tan mate? Uh, I don't mind doing one together. I think the problem is. We both talk a lot, so I don't know how we would do it uh, without talking over each other. Or, yeah, I mean, we could try. I think we we do. We have done live Q and A's before, and that's probably more. I'll pass you. We've done it together. Great set up wide from since past forty thirty. But Tam, you should ask Cam. Let's see if he's up for it. Then I I talk to him relatively regularly anyway. But if it comes from you guys, then I'm sure he'll consider it uh, more so. Certainly, he's a big one. Forehand crossed from Sitspas. Backhand crossed from Sitspas. Now backhand to backhand. Always oh, dragged it wide. So Juice it is pushing for the double break here. My bank balance hopes so as well, Pavel. <laughs> oh. Juice. Juice. Return quality, interesting, set to 9.4 from Sinner. Only 6.6 from Sitsipas. Tamo says, both of you are live ten tennis commentary royalty. I oh, appreciate that, Tamo. That's very kind of you. Tamo, you from uh, Australia. We'll kick serve into the forehand of Sinner. Now, forehand is massive as he goes in to win. And Sispas just watches it sail past him. Massive forehand. First of all was the return. Deep down the middle, had a lot of pace on it. Rushed Sispas. He did pretty well to agree to get it back into play with something on it. It was down the middle and it just set up that into and forehand nicely for Sinner. <laughs> Step out wide. He's out. Uh, I meant I hope Rafa doesn't pull out from Barcelona, but I do hope Sinner wins as well, says Pavel. Yeah, agreed. Well, we'll be winning. I don't mind who wins today, to be honest. I'm from India. Who would have guessed, says Tanmay? Ah, actually, your surname. Yeah, I should have guessed as well. well. I say guess from the surname, but you can be Indian and be based anywhere, right? So, yeah, nice, very nice. Juice. Yes, it's juice. Juice number two. Third on the tee is out from this bus. Second serve coming up. Into the backhand of Sinner. Clips the net cord. Oh, he's going to get fortune, I think. Oh, no, Steph's got there. Lob is out. 
Oh, Steph just got there. I thought he might double bounce it, but no, it wasn't a double bounce. He did really well to get to there. It was a net court just dribbled over. Sispas did really well to get up to it. Senna had a pretty easy lob, misses it, goes long. So advantage Sispas, a missed opportunity, albeit created out of luck. Forehand is massive from Sispas, serve. Down the tee, then goes forehand, cross court, finds a great angle. Serve forehand, working oneness for Sispas to get him out of that bind. So it is 4 2, only the single break still. Well, Joe Sinner is not Diego, so I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, he did it. He did that to Schwartzman, didn't he, Sispas? I know. No, he is. He's just, Lexi, he's just dropped down the ranking so much, unfortunately, which is a real, real shame, uh, in all honesty, because, yeah, I mean, he's a really nice guy by the looks of it, good player, but he's just had a really bad time over the last couple of years, and his ranking is plummeted. He's been playing qualifiers, and he just hasn't managed to get through. Tamas is which out of Monte Carlo, Madrid, Rome, it's perfect for Roland Garros preparation. I can answer that. I'll answer that second half of this point. Four hand to forehand here. Uh, four to Sinner. Into out goes his pass. Into and goes Sinner again. That into and forehand is working absolute wonders right now. 15 love. So Monte Carlo is quite slow um, and it's not a bad. Yardstick for Roland Garros. Madrid, I think, is the worst preparation in the sense that out of the three, anyway, because yes, it's clay, but it's a bit quicker because of the high altitude. Uh, the clay just isn't quite as slow as Roland Garros. Rome, I would say, historically has been the one that plays the most like Roland Garros. Back in the line from Sinners, made beautifully done. Read the approach from Sinner pass off the drop shot and just. Caresses that backhand on the line into the corner. Yeah, drop shot and Sispas got there. A good anticipation from Sinner. Yeah, so Rome historically is the one that plays the most like Roland Garros, uh, which is why last year when Medvedev won Rome, everyone was like, whoa, he might do something. I didn't think he would win it. I didn't think he was a contender. I thought. He might go relatively deep, maybe a quarterfinal, even maybe a semifinal. But I, I didn't see him winning it. Uh, but that's why him winning Rome was so impressive. Because if he was to win one, you think maybe Madrid, maybe even Monte Carlo. Um, but yeah, Rome. I mean, it, it just yeah it seemed strange, right, at the time. Um, but yeah, he played really, really well. I uh, didn't Diego lose in the qualies. Uh, he did. I think it was Monte Carlo, not Estoril. Yeah, I don't know if he played the Estoril qual qualies as well. But for one to forehand here. Little dink from Sinner. He's 30 love up here and a break in his second set, looking to take us into a decider. Backhand lob from Sinner goes long. Interesting choice. 30 15. Hey, David, how you doing? He did lose in the qualies, either here or in Esther or both. Yeah. Madrid is almost like a hard court, kind of, but not I mean, it's still high bouncing, though. Tanme, it's just a bit quicker. It's just. It's a bit like the you know WTA Porsche 500 Grand Prix tournament, whatever it is, which I think is next week or something, if I'm not mistaken. It's a bit like that. That's indoors, but it's relatively quick. Um, but it's still high bouncing. It's still clay. Second serve here coming up. Christian says, Dianic, cheering on his countrymen, I'm sure. Forehand on the middle from... Sispas drop shot from Sinner. Sispas will get there. Dinks it down the middle, right down the line, even. Forehand on the line from Sinner. Oh my word. Great reaction for you from Sispas. And Sinner gets there. For some reason, he's got all of the court down the line to aim at. I mean, instead, he goes cross court and. It goes straight. I mean, this is a ridiculous reaction volley from Sispas, I have to say, but. I don't know why his pass is going. Sorry, why Sinner's going cross court? Just go down the line. He's got so there's no way he goes down the line. His pass is not getting anywhere near that. His pass just stood there, thought 
maybe if I get lucky, he's going to go cross court. Uh, and it was straight at him. So bizarre choice from Sinner, 30 all. It could come back to bite him. Let's see. So that wide's a good one. Forehand is in the great depth from Sispas. And it does. For some reason, he had a lot of time. Probably could have moved back and then driven forward with the forehand. Instead, waited for that loopy forehand. Tried to take it almost crouching. And drags that forehand wide to break back opportunity here for Sispas. That point. I mean, that choice of uh, passing shot, such an easy one. Very short ball. I mean, he'd make that with his eyes closed, you'd imagine, at times. It was just that easy. But instead of going line, he just thought he'd go straight. It's just a bizarre choice. Backhand cross from Sinner. Backhand to backhand now. Oh, good cross. Caught backhand again from Sinner. Then goes cross court again. Backhand from Sispas. Backhand to backhand still. Good depth from Sinner. Steps in. This time goes cross court again. And that's too hot to handle for Sissipas. You can only find the net with the backhand trying to go line. I mean, I'm not sure why he go line at that point. Bizarre choice, but juice. At least Argentina still has Baez and Surundolo. Echeverry as well. Yeah, exactly. Diaz, Acosta, Navon. Yeah, they've got quite a few people players. Uh, Tanmay says, you're talking about Stuttgart. Yes, yes. Okay, so I want to think this pass will win, but I have a feeling if it goes a third, still his favourite, despite this really being a comfortable tournament for Steph. He's not really beat many top players in 2024. True. The serve from Sinner. Backhand return finds the net from Steph. The thing is, David, as well, Steph, especially in the first set, was playing a brand of tennis that is more conducive, like you get to get the most out of play. Sinner hasn't really been playing that. The second set has been better, but it's still not. Like, if he were to play this type of tennis at Roland Garros, I don't think he'd win it, um, in all honesty. Someone told me that hard courts are made of used clay, and I believe that. No, it's not. It's, um, it is broken up shale uh, bricks, if I'm not mistaken. Into in forehand from... It's not actual clay. Great forehand from Sinner down the line. Beautifully struck. 5-2, that's vintage Sinner, one, one game away from this second set. Kamei says, same thing, but I feel Sispas puts up a great fight till the end. Why is Steph so good at Monte Carlo in comparison to the others? He has some, uh, the same amount of titles as Djokovic has at the moment. Uh, but there's a few reasons. I think one, and like a Nadal or a, a Djokovic, they tend to be towards the back end of the swing, so just before the Grand Slam. Uh, and that's why, you know, Rafa's won running out so many times. And even though Djokovic hasn't won it so many times, he's still won it three times, right? So that that's impressive. And the fact that he's won it more than Monte Carlo says a lot because, yes, I try and win the tournaments, but they're not trying to peak at Monte Carlo. I think the other factor is that, or another factor, is that Steph also lives in Monte Carlo, so I think he gets a rise out of playing there. The crowd seems to be on his side, um, and he clearly likes, I think, maybe the home atmosphere that he has there. And the third one is the fact that it, because it's at the start of the play court swing, um, other players may not be acclimatizing as well to the change of surface, with him, though, he seems to acclimatize to it quite quickly, uh, in honesty. And it's similar to Massetti. Um, also, you know, there's the classic, yeah, like as David says here, yeah, time on the ball. But the, then you can say, well, why doesn't he do super well at Rome or super well at Madrid? Which, you know, he has done one of those tournaments, but not as well as Monte Carlo. And I think it's the fact that his level is probably just as good at Madrid, Rome, generally speaking, but the other players like Alcaraz's, your Nadal's, your Djokovic's, they peak or their their level rises as the play court swing goes on. Steph, I think, plays a very high level in Monte Carlo, maybe doesn't always leave enough in the tank for Roland Garros. Drop volley from Sispas is not good enough, but Sinner, oh, what a point. This is a bizarre point. Sinner clips the net cord. It's an absolute gimme of a forehand on the line. Oh, that is so poor from Sinner. That is so poor. Bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. 
I mean, the little half. So it's a half volley drop shot, and then Sinner has an open forehand on the line, clips a net cord. Set, well, Sisbat somehow gets there, and uh, Sinner has to play has to play defense, as you say in the US, and then slices the backhand long. Bizarre from Sinner. So that wide from Sisbat's 30 level. I mean, I guess the net cord didn't help him out, but I mean, he's just. That to me just tells me that he's not hitting the ball with enough coverage. There's no need to hit that flat. It's an absolute gimme. It's just there's no one there on the court. It's almost like Steph isn't even on the court for that shot. He just needs to make it. And uh, yeah, it's, that's happened a couple of times now. Isn't Steph Greek? He is, but he has moved to Monte Carlo. So he lives there and has been living there since 2022, I think. Uh, backhand to backhand here. Or handing to win from. Steph, great forehand cross court from Sinner. Stokes it up beautifully on the stretch. Great angle, 30 15. Yes, he's Greek. Well, he lives in Monte Carlo. Maybe he's too familiar with the courts there. Yeah. Well, Monte Carlo be able, uh, beat Alcraz, not Miami, ended up being to Rafa. Maybe. Maybe. Could be right. Steph, the tax dodger. <laughs> well, a lot of uh, athletes live there. So Dimitrov lives in Monte Carlo as well. Uh, Carlos Sanz lives there, I know. I think uh, he was saying that I think Max Verstappen is in his block of flats. Like, in his complex, he was saying, Dimitrov. Um, yeah, and a couple of other people, a couple of other players and stuff as well. So, Djokovic also lives in Monaco as well. So about wide, and Sebastian goes one in to win. Uh, the forehand Slice from Sin on the defense is not good enough. Yes, these players are there to get away from taxes. Shame, law. Chokovic lives there as well in Marbella. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton says so. Yep, Lewis Hamilton. Forehand down the line from Sitsapas is missed. 40 30. Is it Marbella, Spain? Yeah, I think, tell me, I think he lives in Monaco, no? I could be wrong. He, he he said in an interview that he's playing at home, but I could be wrong. Powell says Hubi lives there as well. Hmm. I think a lot of them do. I think a lot of tennis players either live in Monaco or Miami, from what I know. That's what I've tended to notice. Now, not everyone, obviously, but a lot of, a lot of the top players, anyways. Game point. The sister pass still. Uh, good kick seven to the backhand of Sinner. Backhand to backhand. Now, into our forehand from sister pass. Backhand on the line from Sinner is missed. So, 5-3. He'll now serve for the set, Yannick Sinner. And uh, Steph's dad talking to him in rapid Greek. Anyone speaks Greek, let me know what you're saying. Guys, do hit that like button, please, if you have not done so already. And do subscribe if you're new. Riri really does help us out. I appreciate each and every one of you for getting involved, as always. And also, shout out to our members, of course. You guys are legends. Serve down the team to the backhand of Steph. Now, backhand to backhand. Center so serving for the second set to take us into a decider. Into our forehand from Sitsipas. Then goes into it again. Backhand from Sinner. Into in forehand from Sitsipas. Forehand stretch from Sinner. Doesn't have a lot on it, but he's still in the rally somehow. Then goes forehand into out. Sinner, sorry, sits fast, then goes again into out, and somehow Sinner comes up with an absolute peach of a backhand down the line. That is phenomenal defense from Sinner. And then to come up with something that special is incredible. 15 love. Thomas says, what is the average rally length in this match? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not sure where to find that as well. That's a good question, though. Maybe they'll show it at one point. Guys, over 300 of you in the chat. Thanks for tuning in. Like, like button. Subscribe, please. Thank you so much. In top forehand from Steph. Backhand down the middle from Sinner. Forehand into win is huge from Steph. Clips the tram line. 15 all. Yeah, 35 likes. That, that means... 
one out of ten people have liked the video. Guys, that's disgraceful. Come on, guys. Help me out. Help me out. If you're here, you must be liking the stream somewhat. So do get involved. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. So at least you can, don't have to comment. And if you subscribe in, after a week or two weeks, you're not liking the content, just unsubscribe. But subscribe anyway, right? At first. Backhand on the middle from Sisfas Shank from Sinner on the forehand. Just flexed his arm there. I know how that feels. I know how that feels. My 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 right shoulder. I've I've injured it quite badly playing tennis a couple of days ago on clay, ironically as well. Serving. I'm pretty sure I've uh, strained a muscle quite badly in my shoulder and down my arm. Can't lift it outwards at all without being in pain. And uh, Sinner, what is Sinner doing? Sinner, Sinner, missed the entire forehand after the seven and his team trying to get behind him saying, oh, come on, what are you doing? They're serving for the set. Keep calm. 15-40, break back opportunity. Sispas had a break uh, back opportunity earlier in the set, didn't take it. He's got two opportunities here. I'm going to go his tax free too. Hmm. Here we go. Joe says you need to take up yoga for some. Maybe. Um, I had stretched beforehand. I actually stretch every day. Um, it wasn't that, though. I don't think it's that. I just basically I shanked one of my serves. And uh, the shock, I think it just, yeah, wasn't great. Um, at the time, I didn't feel it because the adrenaline, but after, yeah. I'm feeling that I can't sleep on that, my right side at the moment. One into in from Sinner's massive. They engage in the ad core battle. Sinner gets the best of it. Finds the open court with the into in forehand. So we'll step a little bit safe in that rally. Not, I think, you know, he went down the middle. I think he tried to go line, just misses it a little bit. Goes down the middle short. Shouts at his box, Steph. Need to stay. Patient there, I think. Great right back incoming, says Joe. Yeah. How about wide backhand is? Oh, it's out from Steph. The slight missed it. It was very short the return. It goes wide, and Steph's dad looks like he's going to have a cry. So disappointed. I wanted three sets, so I'm okay. So, Lexi, <laughs> Powell says, Sinner, don't choke. Yeah. Well, he's done well at 1540 to get it to juice. Can he close it out? Is a real question now. He says, Fazan turning pro. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Nowhere near good enough. Uh, second serve into the forehand. Of Sisvas back and cross into the net. Advantage Sinner. Hey, Jerifan, how you doing, my man? Oh, my man. I'll see my man. Sorry. Apologies. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Advantage and set point, Yannick Sinner. Saved two break points in this game. Saved a break point earlier in the set as well. So it's been pretty clutch. Great return. Kept the baseline from Steph. Now forehand to forehand. Down the line goes Steph. Oh, it's huge. That's a monster forehand. And this pass is not done yet. Back to Juice. I'm still a woman. So Jeff, yeah, sorry, Jeff. Next to you, my favorite country woman. Yeah. Ooh. Guys, over 400 of you in the chat. Do remember to hit that like button. This big thumbs up button doesn't cost you anything. It helps us out with the algorithm. And do subscribe if you're new. Thank you to everyone who is tuning in. If you want to support us further by hitting the join button, you can do so. You get some cool perks, early access to stuff, and uh, yeah, some emojis, etc. So check it out if you're interested. And it helps us out, of course, a lot. Right, Juice. Second so serve, Sinner. Into. The forehand of Sispas goes down the middle with the forehand. 
backhand cross from Tsitsipas, backhand in the middle from Sinner, forehand into win from Steph, forehand in the middle from Sinner, bit short though, backhand cross from Tsitsipas, then goes forehand into out, drags out Sinner onto the backhand side on the stretch and he gets the air he wants. Sinner finds the net, it's another break back opportunity for Tsitsipas. Sinner had a set point, didn't take it, has saved already two great points in this game. Game duration is getting past seven minutes. I said tax free wise it's for living is expensive because the actual cost of living, so properties, food, etc., is all expensive there. That's why. Castle's playing next, yeah. Kick serve into the backhand of Steph. Full hand into out from Sinner. Slice from Steph. Down the line goes long. This pass is extremely disappointed as he should. Needs to at least make Sinner work for it. Work for the break point. And back to Deuce. Uh, Tong yells, there's three sets. Sinner sells through 6 4. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Casper versus Novak will be covered by David after this. So make sure you guys tune in for that. So that wide into the stretching forehand slice of Steph, the into and forehand from Sinner. It's a gimme again. He's missed it. That's interesting. This master's dad is telling Steph to slice. I wonder why he's saying to slice. That's a bizarre. I don't know. I don't, re I don't know if the slice is really worked that well. Today, I mean, he's, he's definitely better in slice generally, but drive backhand in the first set is what looked good. Uh, anyway, break back opportunity, second surface. Sinner just can't close it out, and Sispas is knocking on the door. Can he break it down? Backhand cross again from Seth, forehand into in from Sinner. It's a lob forehand from Sispas that goes wide. Great forehand, that uh, into in forehand from Sinner. This set has been money. Absolute money for him. Wow, the Greek is coming back to them, MJ. I'm waiting for Casper. Yannick, get this over with. Lol. Point of the line from Sinner. Backhand cross from Sitsipas. Don't you mean Sitsipas? Because Sitsipas is winning at the moment, everyone. One down the middle from Sitsipas. Clips the baseline. One to forehand now. Point of the line from Sinner. Backhand down the middle from Sinner. Then goes backhand cross into the net. We're back to advantage. Sitsipas. Great point opportunity again. Game duration over 10 minutes. Wow. The Greek wins. I go to the offices, MJ, so waiting. Mm. So, I'm going to tease an ace from Sinner. Oh, Steph is going to have a look. The chair umpire's come down. Oh, it's out. It's out. Don't want to work anymore today. Well, well, let's see. Well, the F Stefanos come on, Slexi. Let's go three now. Kick serve on the second zone to forehand of Steph. Oh, massive forehand from Sinner. The return wasn't great from Steph. Sat up quite nicely for Sinner, but he had a lot to do still. And again, it's the in twin forehand that does the business. It's another winner off that side, off that specific shot. Forehand win is this set 11 for Sinner, only 4 for Sitsipas. Oh, the plot thickens, says MJ. Yeah, indeed. Come on, Steph, says Joe Mama. Mm. So, into the net from Sinner. Second serve coming up. Into 
into the forehand of Steph. Forehand to forehand. Backhand cross from Sinner. Backhand cross from Sitspass. Forehand into out from Sinner. Backhand in the middle from Sitspass. Good depth. Then goes backhand cross. Backhand to backhand. Backhand on the line from Sinner. Forehand cross from Sitspass. Drop shot from Sinner. Oh, little dink down the line from Sitspass. Forehand. Passes him cross court to Sinner. Wowzers. Really, really good pass. Great angle. He's going backwards as well, I think, as he hits it. A slice approach from his pass wasn't bad. Wasn't amazing, but definitely wasn't bad. Just sat up a little bit. And it seems to have brought himself, or bought himself some nerves of steel greed. I thought Sid would win easily. Is Bedosa that I just cook my spicy pepper beef with cabbage? Oh. I don't think she is. I don't think she is for what I can see. So about wide. Step point number two. And he does manage to close it out, saving multiple break points in that game. We're going three sets, people. We're going to the deciding set. Who takes it? Let me know. Let me know in the live chat. Who takes the third set? And by what scoreline? Sinner holding firm. I mean, he's getting a lot of pressure. This pass has been playing really well. I mean, he's pushing a lot in that second set. Just couldn't manage to convert a break point. Eight winners for Steph in that set. Seven on for Sarah, So that's pretty good return. Similar level to the first set. 16 winners to 11 on Force Terror, so picked it up big time uh, for sure. And if we look at break points, look at zero out of six for Steph. Zero out of six for Sinner, one out of two. Uh, and this is, I know I want to do some lifting. Lifting? Do you like weightlifting? I'm pretty good with my returns. I think I just have two left and the rest are wasted here. But... Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. So, since pass, we'll start off the third set. The first two sets, Sinister first. Joe says, enjoy the stream. Maybe catch you later. Yeah, Joe, have a great time in Alicante. Have a safe flight. So, guys, who takes a third set? Let me know in the co in the live chat and by what scoreline. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Guys, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. Uh, Simon's stream says I put 20,000 on Sister Pass for us to win. Simon, what is going on there? Oh my gosh. People doing crazy stuff. Oh no. I hope that, well, I hope that's not true, but anyway. And um, this says I say Sister Pass to win 6 2. Okay. Your fine says be safe, Joe. Next says, enjoy Spain and the girls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Um, so, angry has gone since past 60. I'm going to go... It's hard. Is it hard to back against Sinner now that he's on the second set? I'm going to go Sinner. 6-4. I think it's going to be tight again. I think is going to take it. Let me know in the live chat what, you're, what you guys are thinking. Who wins in by what spot? Let's have a look at the YouTube poll as well. So 77% of you have gone for Sinner. That's out of 306 votes. 23% says to us to win the match, that is. Hey, Peter Mates from Philippines. Hey, how you doing, Peter? To have you in the chat. Who are you cheering on, Peter? 
in a first serve placement, just showing it. I mean, majority. I mean, from the ad side, it's 95% to the Steph backhand. On the juice side, he's mixed it up a bit more. But still 54% uh, down the T. So to the backhand side, 10% to the body is like 36% to the forehand side. So normally trying to attack that backhand return, which most players do against Steph. And yeah, clearly something that Steph still needs to work on. The backhand in the rallies actually wasn't terrible. It's been pretty good. Um, the returning though at times, I think it's mainly in small periods that let him down, especially when he's had opportunities on break points, he's missed a few returns, and that's been criminal, I think, especially on a clay court where he's got more time. He can't be missing returns, but I think that's been a big difference. Okay, so the third and final set about to resume. I'm sure I find the center will take this, I think, but I didn't watch the full match. That's fair. That's fair. Pavel says, I hope so. Well, let's see. It's just a pass to serve first in this deciding set. He will come out on top. Remains to be seen. I think Sinner is must be the slight favourite, given that he took the second set, given his form this year, uh, going into a decider, and how clutch he has been generally, not just in this match, but all year. All right, second serve coming up. This pass goes into the backhand of Sinner. The backhand goes long from Yannick. 15 love. Alrighty. Sadama T is long. Second serve coming up. Backhand into the net from Steph. 15 0. Steph's got to hold. I feel like this opening service game is really crucial because if he gets broken straight away, I, I think it becomes really, really difficult for him to recover. So I've done a T from Steph, then goes down the line with the forehand. Backhand. Well, hold on. It's into our forehand from Sinner. I think Steph's saying that it's fine. Oh. Not sure about that. She's saying it's Sinner's point. He's just called out. But the shot actually clipped the, clipped the tram line. And the chair umpire is saying that basically you're on the stretch and she doesn't think she, that he was going to make the ball. Oh, I think that's a bit harsh. Let's have a look at the replay. I think they should replay the point. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, the call was made after. He, so he did slice into the net. So fine. He does slice into the net. Then fair, fair enough, fair enough. I think Steph, that's why he complained a little bit, but he kind of kind of uh, stopped complaining after five to ten seconds. We'll kick serve into the top one of Sinner. On the stretch goes Sinner, four hands, four hands, four hands. The line from Sitsa Pass, beautifully struck. Again, had Sinner on the run, 
which has been doing so well with that forehand cross court and opened up the court nicely for the forehand down the line. Your opponent says questionable. Yeah, she's right. I think, yeah. Yeah, exactly. At first, I was like, oh, questionable, but yeah. So, forehand quality from Sispas was 9.1 in the first set, 8.6 in the second set. So didn't drop that much. Sinners went from, I think, 7. Point, I think it was, no, sorry, 8.1 to a 9 in the second set. So, both players hitting the forehand really well. There's a shank from Sispas on the backhand there. 30 40 early break point opportunity here for Sispas. I hope he doesn't talk about that point because I do think it was fine in honesty. And uh, Neil says, WTF, you gifted me a membership on Cam's channel, mate. Yeah, <laughs> are you three to one, mate? You're three to one, mate. Then, yes, I did. Now, there's a shank from Sitzpass again. There's someone on the forehand side, the depth from Sinner, just too much to handle for the Greek. Not a good start in this third set. Let's see if he talks to the chair umpire. I don't think he will. I mean, because if he hadn't gotten broken, if, he, if he'd if he won the game, I don't think he'd complain about it. Let's see if he does, though, because he might be a bit annoyed generally. I hope he doesn't because there's no need to. I think she was right. No, he's not. He's not. Fair enough. Okay, one love sinner. Serve into the backhand of Steph. Sinner looking to consolidate the break here. I think it's into the forehand. Backhand to backhand now. Good depth from Steph. Massive backhand from Sinner, but not enough. Oh, depth on it. Down the line. Goes Steph. And then Sinner on the stretch on the forehand side, sliced that beautifully into the open court. Wow. Great defensive work from the Italian. 15 love. Ole, 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 ole. That's what I sing in the stands. Ole, ole. Yeah, since who's the best chair umpire? I actually really like Mohamed Leani. Um, although. Medvedev might have uh, something to say about that. So that wide from Sinner, Shank from Sispas. I think. No, it's, uh, it's um, Carlos Ramos, isn't it? That uh, Kyrgios absolutely hates. A lot of run ins with him. But yeah, I don't mind Carlos. I, I like Mohamed Leani, though. I like uh, James Kiev. Kier I can never say his surname properly. What's wrong with me? Kievathong? Uh, the British one, he's good as well. Lovely to see the various channels supporting each other. I've seen Cam in here gifting several times. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all love. Backhand to backhand. Down the line goes Steph, misses it though. Very ambitious backhand attempt. 40 love. Yeah, it's Yannick's point. She yelled out when Steph was hitting the ball already. Didn't affect him. He shouldn't complain. Agreed, yeah. Pause the Yannick's Pavel. Uh, da -da -da. Thanks for membership. No problem at all, Niha. That was weak source from Steph. Elite player sent a message at the start of the third. They don't carry the disappointment of the second into the start of the third. Hope he shows character now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree. I agree. I think he, you know, kind of maybe lost concentration a little bit. The fact that he hit a few shanks and haven't really seen that too much in this match so far. The level dropped, definitely. And maybe tight got a little bit tight. And shouldn't be happening at this level uh, you know, with a player of his calibre who's made Grand Slam final before. A drop shot from Sissipas, not good enough. Sinna gets there. And it's a, a re-drop, as Gil Gross likes to say. I like to say it's a reverse drop shot. And he dinked it cross court beautifully. And uh, it is a hold, a consolidation from Sinna. And he just held to love as well. So he is cruising right now in the deciding set. This pass is going to have to up his level as soon as possible. And that means getting on the board in this next service game. 
really crucial he does. A double break and you almost think it's done, even on a clay court. So that wide forehand from Sinner down the middle. Then goes backhand cross. Forehand into out from Steph. Backhand cross from Sinner. Forehand is a shank from Sinner. trying to go into in. Sinner doing much better in the adequate exchanges of finding good depth and angles. And it's just forcing Sitsipas to have to make a decision because he was almost comfortably hitting the into in forehand when he wanted to in uh, the first set and a half, even two sets, I'd say, generally. Uh, but in this, the start of this one, Sinner's definitely found a bit more depth and Steph is just struggling uh, where it doesn't want to commit to the backhand side as much. He's been shanking a few, so he's started going to the forehand. He's been shanking those two because he's just cramping himself for room and time and space. Uh, to execute it well enough. Uh, love 15. Second serve coming up. So that's a massive... Oh, sorry, it was a let. So that was a first. I was going to say that was a massive double fault, but a first serve was a let. Second serve into the backhand of Sinner. Backhand to backhand. Down the line goes Sinner. just missed it. Very close. He buries that backhand down the line. And love 30. It's looking pretty precarious for Steph. He looks like he's lost belief very quickly when he shouldn't. Steph was not uh, far off breaking back in the second. Yep. He loses this set, but it's close. It's still a good week. Yeah. No, I, I agree, uh, Matthew, because the fact is, right, he had six breakpoint opportunities. And Sinner just had two. And so it just shows that he was opening up chances. Just didn't take them. That can happen. Uh, but need to put it behind him. Well, he needs to put it behind him. And reset. And he hasn't done so at the start of this third set. Well enough, anyway. Yes, if you ever take a, a trip to Australia, I'd be more than glad to play tennis with you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure we could sort it. And if that was the case, I'd definitely want to have a hit with Cam. Nihal's seen me play tennis on the channel and is like, you can take me. Nihal's like, I can take you. Um, but yeah, I've said to Cam as well. If he comes to the UK, you can have a hit. I think we might have to do a quality shot tennis uh, tournament with all the commentators because some of us live in the US, so they can have a match. Some of us live in Australia, they can have a match. Some of us live in the UK, we can have a match. So yeah. Into it, into our forehand from Steph. And it's an easy little drop shot for him. To put away, holds the 15. Still, he doesn't bother chasing it. Just conserves his energy. So 2 1. This pass on the board, but a breakdown in this deciding step. Achieving chase, as well. I don't know what that means, but it's the on the top. Yeah, Sinner is on top. That's one set all, but he's a break up in this third set. He's 2-1 up, and uh, he'll serve a 3-1. Oh, yeah. Okay. So two one here. All right, so Alcra is also playing Barcelona. So is Dimino. So sits the pass. So is Umber. So it's a pretty fires hatch on Rublev Rude. I mean, it's a pretty stacked Barcelona draw, to be honest. 
as uh, the return from Sispas goes long. 15 love. Are you capable of... My oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. What's going on here? Need to relax, my man. Book of Dark. Nia says, why not have Hawkeye on clay? Uh, because it's marks. You don't need to. I, I kind of like it. Just go and check the mark. There should be pretty clear marks on the clay, so you don't need it. Uh, they do show it on the replay, and I mean, I haven't seen any wrong yet so far. Uh, unless you have automatic line calls. But, I don't know. I don't mind it being kept for clay. The other tournaments should definitely have automatic line calls, in my opinion. Backhand to backhand. Into in forehand from Steph. Forehand to forehand now. Forehand into the net from Steph, trying to go line. It is love 40. Sorry, love 40. It's 40 love. Let's not get excited. Oh, no, Stefanos, what are you doing? Says Lexi. It's not as reliable, Niha, on clay. Yeah, probably because softer surface, I'd imagine, right? Points one on serves. Interesting. Sinner's, uh, very, well, seven out of seven, right? So far, this set hasn't lost a point, I don't think. Ava says, for the sinner. For the sinner, indeed. What's uh, the equivalent of, like, Forza or Vamos in Greek? For Sitsipas. Oh, I think I remembered before, but I've forgotten them. Forehand to forehand here. Steph crunching the forehand, but finds the net in the end. So, Ju Sinner, says uh, Karen Pai, which is game Sinner. Sitsipas looks extremely disappointed with that last forehand. It is 3 1 Yannick Sinner. Would it not be possible to have video reviews on clay, though? They already have it. Mm. They do show, like, when you're watching, right, they'll show, when they go and check a mark, they show Hawkeye imitating the mark. So, yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting one. I just feel like clay is not the bigger issue. I feel like they need to sort it out on hardcore on grass. Automatic line calls or judges need to be like a must, in my opinion, anyway. The short return from Sinner. Sispas gets there, puts it away easily into the open court. Does pass 15 love. Or forehand into in from Sitsipas. Slice. From Sitsipas. Great. Great drop shot from Sinner. Wow. Great drop shot from Sinner. You know, oh, double fault from Steph. Uh oh, could this be a capitulation? Fifteen thirty. Savat wide smash put away from Steph because Savat wide on the ad side gets a smash puts it away. Or we'll serve into the net from Sitz Pass. Oh, massive forehand down the middle from Sinner. Now forehand into the forehand of Steph. 
Oh dear, shanks the forehand. It is 30 40. Break point opportunity, a chance for a double break up. Mm. 30 40. So that wide's massive. From Sitsipas saves the break point with an ace. Beautifully done. Ooh. Serve miss from Sitsipas. Second serve coming up. Backhand cross from Sitsipas. Backhand to backhand now. Massive backhand on the line from Sinner. Wow. Huge. Back to break point for him. Uh, who would you take? Who would you take? Rant out show. Ruin with the tantrums of Nick Kyrgios with the bottle that slipped out of his hand. <laughs> Probably Kyrgios. Um, so I don't know, T. It's a short ball. Does this pass in a or oh, just misses the pass across court? Well, interesting. The crowd booing Sinner, I think. Sinner talking to the chair umpire, saying the serve was out. The serve was out. He was right. He was right. He should have stopped play then and got her to check it, to be fair. Serve out wide. Forehand in the middle from Steph. Backhand to backhand. Down the line goes Steph with the, for with the backhand. Massive forehand on the line from Sinner. On the stretch with the slice. Backhand. In top four from Steph is too good. He is add up. Game point. Fran uh, Francesco says I want Sinner to win. Yeah. Well, he's the driving seat right now. He's in the driving seat. About wide forehand into win from Sitz Pass, then goes into the net. Back to Deuce. Just cannot seem to close this one out. Oh, we go backhand cross from Steph. Backhand to backhand. Or oh, forehand cross from Sinner. Steps in, goes backhand cross. Slice drop shot. Still going to get there, but doesn't do enough. Drags it wide. Advantage sits the pass. It did pass. Is advantage up? So about wide is an ace. A hold, three, two. That's the single step.
just the single break. Neil says, what's the mental advantage to serve first and the third? Well, the mental advantage is that if you keep on holding serve, right, and you're serving first, then the opponent's always chasing the scoreboard. So there's pressure, right, because they're serving second, say it's 5-4, and they're serving at 5-4 down, then that's it, they're in trouble, right? Because they could, they could get broken, and that's it. They don't have a cushion of being broken, and then they have the chance to break back. They get broken, that's it, it's game over. Um, so that's what, it's the scoreboard pressure more than anything. Uh, that 5-4, for example, is a good one to highlight that. Uh, come on, Savannah, so you can do this. Hi, uh, Australia from Liverpool, Tom. Yep, how are you doing? Come on, Lexi, you can root for Yannick. I like Sinner, but I love Stefanos. Sinner is the best tennis player in the world at the moment. He is, yeah. Hey, how are you going, mate? Me, huh? Come on, no need to push it like that. So Lexi, haha. <laughs> oh, he changed it a lot. You give me tennis any day versus soccer. Tom, if you have a message, it's not soccer, it's football. Come on. Oh, this is Francesco. There we go. Yep. Let's see, 79% of you have gone for Sinner. 79% of you have gone for Sinner to take it. All right. All right, all right. Okay, 3-2 Sinner here. Well, close this best you can lose. Francesco is really, really trying to urge this best to lose it. It's said on the tee is a good one. Back and return goes wide. These shorter points, right? These are gold dust on clay. Uh, your aces are unreturnables. You're even your serve plus one. Uh, points that are one. These are like Gold dust in service games um, in clay court tournaments. Back returns made only 43% for this pass. Wow. In this set, 93% for Sinner. Poor hand on the line from Sinner. Backhand cross from Sissipas. Then goes down the well down the middle with the backhand. The forehand goes wide. Then it went cross court. Sissipas surprised he didn't go cross court as well. He uh, went wide. He says, how was Ramadan for you, Fazan? Yeah, it was good. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, it was really good. Can't complain. Um, managed to come through it, keep all my fast. So, yeah. Back on turns, man, here you go. 67% first set backhand, 74% for Steph, and 43%. So, a big drop in this set. Backhand's made on return. Forehand is made down the middle from Sidspass. Then goes into out with the forehand. Backhand on the line from Sinner. Forehand to forehand now. Forehand on the line from... Sispas is a big one. Good slice from Sinner, though. Cross court. Good defense. Then backhand to backhand now. Sinner. Oh, hello. Sispas. That's bizarre from Sispas. He's looking at the floor. I think he's looking to see if there, if it was out or not that previous shot. And uh, he doesn't move for Sinner's backhand cross, which so shouldn't have been a winner. I think Steph would have got that. Maria says, Forza Yannick. Uh, Tom Snow offense because I had bad, bad feelings of football fans. That's fine. This game is ours, says Francesco. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, Tom. If you love tennis, then that's that's it's your prerogative, right? It's all good. Serve out wide, good backhand on the line, though. On return from Sispas, but opens him up to a forehand into the open space. Defensive lob. Now, Sinner goes down the middle of the forehand. That's going to be a longer point, but it looks like although Sispas does extremely well. With the forehand, drags out. It's a high topspin forehand cross court. It's just so good on clay. Sispas is able to rip it quite consistently on this surface and, and drag out the opponent. And Sinner yet again dragged out. And Sispas had an easy put away down the line. Sinner does have two game points though still. He's still in control of this match. Guys, remember to hit that big thumbs up button and do subscribe for new. Thanks for getting involved. Appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, here we go. Forehand down the line from Sinner. Now backhand to backhand. Two game points here for Sinner. 
one into the net. Mm. Needs to be careful, Sinner here. Does not want to be letting Sitzpass back into this set. That can return is very short from Sitsipas. Forehand cross from Sinner lets it bounce. Smash puts it away. Very good composure. Very, very good composure from the Italian. New balls as well for the next game. He does consolidate the break yet again. 4 2. They're unique versus Constantine. Uh, Constantine. I think saying that he's unique, I'm assuming. I don't speak Italian, but I'm assuming that. Guys, there were 500 of you in the chat. Do remember to hit that like button and do subscribe if you're new. Oh, hold on. Sinner needs physio for his leg. Interesting. Okay, so 2 4 down here, since pass in the deciding set. Sinner potentially two games away from taking this match. Forehand down the middle from Sinner. Slice from Sinner's very short. Forehand is a shank from Sitsipas. But it does enough. Does enough. Because Sinner misses the backhand down the line. Yeah, so does it make sense to play the ball with heavy top spin on the fall from behind, far behind the baseline so as to get the ball spin rate to slow it down, slow down a bit? Uh, not on the fall. You still you don't want to necessarily be taking on the rise, but you don't want to be taking on the fall either. You want to take it in between, right? A neutral contact position. Um, you can take it kind of on the fall, but the problem is it just means you're really far back then, so it makes you a lot more susceptible to being drop shotted. And also a uh, more, lot more susceptible to other angles as well. Um, so you don't want to be necessarily hugging the baseline. It's kind of, I mean, you need to find a happy medium. Great. So down the T from this pass. 40 love. Uh, most of his commentators make a, a good point with umpires no longer required to make calls on tour with automatic line calling. They are unfamiliar with watching balls near the lines. That's true. That's a good point. They're probably less practiced. And they slap stuff one into the net. So 4 3, just a single break still. I think Sinner's going to have a medical timeout. Fabio Fognini still playing tennis. He is Italian, such a character, true. The center is just having the is just having a medical timeout. He's seeing something strange going on his leg. Yes, yeah, says what language does Sinner speak the best? Italian. From Italy. I don't know if he even speaks German. I'm assuming he does. So three minutes medical timeout starting now.
going to have a bit of a laugh with the physio. Uh, Fordini still is playing. Uh, Yoziano, which is not. Yeah. Two socks sixty says actually German. Eh? What's your your famous singer speaks German better than Italian? He's from Italy. He might be speaking German now, but I think he is asking what does he speak the best. And he speaks Italian the best, right? You would assume. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Francesco says Sina is an Italian tennis player. Yeah. Same question for says first, what does he speak? The best, Russian or Greek? Well, again, I'm assuming Greek, but I don't know. Uh, two Sox 6 is known in that region of Italy, they speak mostly German. His mother tongue is German, I suppose. Really? Okay, let's have a look at this online. Let's have a look at this online. Yannick Spinner. Interesting. Yannick Spinner. Rock. Ah, you're right. You're right. Uh, so, two stock 60, well done. That's some great trivia. I might, uh, I might put it on my channel as as a question. So I'm going to nick that, Nihar and two stock 60. So, uh, don't answer it, but I'm going to put it as a question on the, uh, and say, like, what? I might do that, actually. That's quite a good one. Chase wants it. His mother tongue is Germany. Yeah, it was Germany until the World War II. Okay. Yeah. So it says age 70 started that one of his girls was do better than him. He had lots of love. Guys, Italian and greatly improved, but grew up in a German speaking family. So, yeah, okay, interesting. Didn't know that. Very good. Austriac. Yeah. So, this speaks the tennis language as Francesco, yeah. Well, double fault from Sinner after having the medical timeout. That's not a good start. Serving here to go 5 3 up. Forehand, big, big forehand for Sinner to hit. Went really high above the shoulder. Went long to love 30. That medical timeout they didn't take it at a great time, Sinner, has to be said. Now finds himself love 30 down. He's been in complete control. This third set had multiple break point opportunities as well. Only managed to get the one break, but Sispas is pressing here. Are you watching Nolly versus Rude? Yes, we are. It'll be David will be covering Novak Djokovic versus Kasper Rude. So keep an eye out for that. Then they're having a lot of the medics recover. Yeah, true. Forehand down the middle from uh, Sinner. Now backhand to backhand. Forehand into out from Sitsipas. Backhand cross from Sinner. Backhand cross from Sitsipas now. Great depth. Sinner steps in though. Goes into on the forehand. Big, big into in point. Steps in again. Goes drop shot. He's made it. Great drop shot. If you're a Sinner fan, you're holding your breath, trying to see if he makes it over the net, and it does. The ball does make its way over the net, and it's a well-executed drop shot. Good disguise as well. Good execution. 15-30, still quite a lot to do in this game. Serve into the net from Sinner. Second serve into the forehand of Sisyphus. Forehand into in from Sinner. Forehand is in from Sisyphus. Great depth. Then goes into out with the forehand Sisyphus. Forehand to forehand. Sisyphus goes forehand in the middle. Forehand cross from Sinner. Great angle. Gets the lob to hit with the into out forehand. Backhand to backhand. Or back to neutral. Steph is defending well. And he gets a shank. Wow. He gets a shank from Sinner. Very unlike him. We don't see many shanks. 
And it's had a b- very bad moment as well. So 1540 and two break points here for Steph. Sinner is from South Tyrol. Uh, his family spoke German. Yeah, thank you for that, Enrico. Yeah, that's great. I'm liking this. Thank you for enlightening me, guys. I appreciate it. Keep that in my bank, in my knowledge bank now. Serve so into the backhand of Steph as a shank from Sinsabas. Just tucked him up on the backhand. So, good body serve. 30 40. One break point. Say best height for tennis. I would say best height is between six foot and six two. I reckon like six one's pretty optimum. I think six between six foot and six two is ideal, I would say. No problem, Tom. Enjoy your weekend. Hey, Cam. Thank you for the gifted member. Let's see who gets it. Let's see who gets it in a second. Oh, kick serve into the backhand of Steph. Good depth down the middle from Steph. Then backhand cross. Or oh, backhand cross again from Steph. Forehand into out from Sinner. Massive backhand in the middle from Steph. And goes forehand into win. This pass is now on the back foot after a great forehand cross from Sinner. Slides from Sitspass. Forehand into out from Sinner. Backhand into the net from Sitspass. Great hold in that point, even. It's not a hold of serve, of course, but definitely held firm Sinner in that point. Clutch, you have to say it's clutch. Matthew, congrats for the gifted membership. It is juice. Well, Sinner, I was fifteen forty down, so this is a pretty good. Come on, he's done it once before uh, in this match already, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was in the second set. Great start on a tee from Sinner. Advantage to him. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's when he was serving. For the second set, and he was 15 40 down and had to save. I think he was four break points in the end and managed to hold it out and close out the second set 6 3. So a similar ish position here, although it's only 4 3, not 5 3. It's got a game point here. So that wide into the backhand of Sitsapass. Massive into our forehand from Sitsapass. Backhand has got great depth on it from Sinner. Oh, tries to go down the line with the forehand. He's missed it, Sinner. And all the hard work. That forehand actually was teed up quite nicely. Had quite a bit of time on that forehand. Lex says, Dios mio, Stefanos. Too many breakpoint chances. Take one at least. Yep. He's had a lot of them. Hasn't been clinical, I agree. Hasn't been clinical. Serve down the tee from Sinner. Then goes to forehand into out. Forehand into in. Comes forward after a short ball from Steph, but doesn't do enough. Just blast forehand in the middle. Sinner needs to be better on clay with those ball, shorter balls. He's blasting those shorter balls down the middle of the court. And that's fine. The pace is there, but he's not finding any sort of angle. And that that's why he keeps on retreating. He's not going forward to the net because he just hasn't done enough. With an approach. Advantage again. So it is. Another break point opportunity here for Steph. So that wide. On the stretch goes Steph. Dry volley from Sinner. Steph gets there. It's in. Great get from So Great defensive work. Forehand on the line from Sinner. Backhand wide from Steph. Can't believe it. Steph cannot believe he's done all the hard work. He's got to the dry forehand. He scampered off the serve. He's going to step out wide. He has a regulation backhand cross court to hit. He misses it. And that's the, that's been the issue. He hasn't been clinical in those great point opportunities. Exactly what Lexi said. Yeah, so Sinner looks like he's a lot more than 6'2", a lot taller than 6'2". Something like 6'4", two, but Wikipedia still says he's 6'2". Yeah, I think Steph is 6'4". And Steph's Bigger than Sinner, you can you can see serve. But I tell you what, the return's even better. Right, the thing is Sinner. Yeah, it's a short boy wants this pass. This pass, I think, has been better for putting away the shorter balls generally. 
is into on the forehand. He just hasn't got as many of them. When I mean short balls, I mean very short balls. Sitting up almost inside the service box quite nicely. So advantage is good to pass another break from opportunities. Pushing dinner. Let's see, can he hold? Big point coming up. Big stab into the backhand side of Steph. One in top from Sinner. Then goes forehand. Cross court. Great forehand. Steps in. Goes forehand on the line. Steph throws a lob. And it's out. I'll tell you what. Sinner is ridiculous. Uh, in, in the sense that, like, he's. The way that he saves these break points is just phenomenal. It's a slice cold. Ice in his veins. Average for the ATP top 560. Mm, makes sense. Break point save 12 out of 13 today for Sinner. 3 out of 5 for Sitsipas. Serve into the backhand of Sitsipas. Drop shot from Sinner. Not good enough, though. Yeah, it's not good enough at all. Not a good one whatsoever. Backhand from Sitsipas. Goes cross court. Sinner shanks that backhand. Not a good choice at all. Advantage Sitsipas. Another break for opportunity. Uh, mark this one, Pazan, as the match ends. You'll see that Sinner's actually called and said, Oh, no way. See them shake hands in the net. Okay, I'll have a look. I don't think so, but let's see. Let's see. So, Donati is out. Second serve. Steph doesn't take it now. I don't know if he's ever going to take it. It's a second serve opportunity. Unless he says whatever, Stefano. Kick serve into the into out forehand of Steph. Backhand cross from Sinner. Into the forehand from Steph. Surely that's too good. Sinner's got the... It's out. Oh, he's broken back. I tell you what. Wow. Incredible stuff from Sitsipas. The fight back. I would have thought this step would be over by now, but Steph has fought back nicely after a really weak start to the set. He has fought back really nicely. Well, Yannick says Francesco, when he looks taller because he's skinnier, yeah. The sinner, of course, he could easily have won the set 6 2. He's had chances. Steph's had a lot of chances, though. Serve into the forehand of Sinner. Forehand cross court. Forehand on the line from Sitsipas. And the slice goes into the net. Sitsipas is on or in the ascendancy here. I'm not sure if Sinner's going to win this one from here now, to be honest. That was a mammoth service game. I think there was about four or five juices in it. Oh, massive into and forehand off. So that wife was just fast. Forehand goes long from Sinner. Sinner's limping. He is limping. That leg issue is clearly troubling him. He does not look 100%. It's going to have to because this pass has raised his level. Second serve to the backhand of Sinner. Great return. I think it must have got the baseline. Beautiful backhand return. Slice from this pass goes long. Very good from a Sinner. Like says, finally, I'd really laugh if he loses that point. Sinner is. Uh, giving it to him already. Good grief. Let's first serve. Second serve into the backhand of Sinner. Backhand goes wide. Again, he's stretching. It's almost like his hamstring or glute. 40, 15, it's a pass. 
Not looking good. I think it's his left hamstring by the looks of it. Can I stretch it out? So into the backhand of Sinner. Forehand in the middle. Forehand cross of Sinner's gone long. So Sitzer passes one game away from this match. And he was. 40 days. Just won three games in a row. And uh, the physio is going to come on and treat him again. He's not looking great, Yannick Sinner, right now. I said tie break 7 4 Stefanos. Okay, let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets broken here if he's not feeling 100%. It's going to be tough. Let's hope he does hang tough. Uh, at least take us through a tiebreaker. That would be good. All right. Four, five. Said and he missed from Sinner's second serve. Backhand down the middle from Sinner pass now. Forehand into that Sinner serving to stay in this match. Backhand long from Sinner pass. Fifteen love. Yes, Lexi says Henry. <laughs> Henry hating. Serve into the net from Sinner. Second serve coming up. Massive in top forehand from Sinner. That's back down the line from Sinner's good. Forehand down the line from Sinner. Slice from Sinner's pass into the corner. And backhand cross. Forehand into up from Sinner. Back down the line from C Oh, whoa. Sinner's pass is like slap that down the line. Wowzers. Great timing. 15 all. Okay, backhand win is three for Sinner today. Or is this set three, sorry, even? Three for Sinner. What's the one for Sinner pass in set three? Okay. Massive into and forehand from Sinner. Forehand. Or backhand to backhand now. Forehand into and. Or massive forehand from Sinner that finds the net. 15-30. Oh dear. This pass is two points away. This 
Exactly. Wow, from center, second serve coming up. Like a massive instant forehand from Sitzfuss. Forehand cross is wide. So 15 42, a break point opportunity here for Sitzfuss. Two match points. Sinner looks like he's on his last leg. He's struggling, I think, here. He does not look like he's uh, completely. He just doesn't look like he's all there. No spamming, please. All right, Sinner serving at 15.40. He has saved break points at 1540 multiple times this match, but it's two match points here. And he doesn't look like he's I mean, he just does not look like he's hundred percent that injury that he's got looks like a left hamstring potentially. He's definitely struggling with it. Second serve here. Into the forehand of Sitsapas. He goes down the middle. Backhand cross from Sinner goes wide. Wow. Sitsapas has come back from a set form. Well, he's come back in this third set. A breakdown. A win in three sets. Definitely, definitely a bit of an upset. No doubt. I mean, Sinner looked like he was going to run through in the third set. Steph played a really high level the first two sets. The third set was up and down. But he fought back well, being 4-2 down to win four games in a row. An impressive, impressive uh, win in the end for uh, the Greek player. And I have to say, he will be extremely ecstatic given what's been a pretty disappointing 2024 so far. For Sinner, no shame in losing to Steph. He's won Monte Carlo twice. And, uh, you know, he clearly was a little bit hampered by injury. Would that have change the outcome of the third set maybe we don't know 100 percent, but all we can do is give kudos to Sitsapas and uh, he'll face either Djokovic or Rude in the final uh, we will be covering the final and I in fact I'll put the link to it in the chat please go and uh, jump over to that stream hit the like button and uh, get involved with that stream of Djokovic versus Rude and uh, we appreciate each and every one of you great win for Stefano Sitsipas, Pame Steph, yep, as I like to say, and for Yannick uh, for the coming tournaments, he will be fine. Um, he has made at least the semi-finals of every single tournament he's played this year, and he's only lost two matches, so that's not bad going, right? Um, not bad going whatsoever. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate each and every one of you. Joe says, I actually got something right for once, and Chung says his pass won. Yep, he did. Joe says, thanks for the great commentary. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Manon. And also, Lexi. Um, oh, well. What did they say? Oh, well. You, your man won. Two Socks says, thanks. No problem at all. Two Socks. See you guys soon. We'll see you for the Djokovic Rude match. See you guys shortly. And uh, have a good rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs>